you know, I think at one level it's going to start at the at the individual um, level. People will be less and less willing to accept that traditional model. So there'll be pressure on on companies from that side. I think that uh, companies pursuing change, particularly if you're talking about large companies, is an extremely challenging um, undertaking. Um, there are very uh, powerful immune systems and antibodies that have been built up in large companies to resist change um, uh, in, in very effective ways. And so uh, we've, been, we've been working uh, with clients to um, pursue an approach that we call scaling edges. But I think what it requires ultimately is somebody at a very senior level in the organization, not necessarily the CEO, but somebody on that person's um, leadership team who has both conviction, belief that in the necessity of change, but also courage, uh, the willingness to stand up uh, when they face opposition, because they will face opposition. Um, so the courage to actually continue to pursue that change even in the face of resistance, and then finding a, a group of people within the company who uh, have sufficient passion that they will be willing to experiment, that they'll be willing to take risks, and willing to, again, resist opposition because they will encounter it. Uh, so it's the combination of somebody at a very, very high level in the organization, plus a, a group of people who are truly passionate about the need for change.